fashion videos here on YouTube. And because of that, I sort of own a lot of clothes. So I decided to make a huge wardrobe clean out. So a couple of reasons of why I want to do this. Well, first of all, I was supposed to move to Japan this April, but because of travel restrictions and all of that, I didn't end up going. So whenever I'll be able to go, I will go. And for sure, I won't be able to bring all of my clothes with me. So I'm gonna try to sort of pick out the ones that I really like and sort of hold value to me. And the second reason is I'm kind of trying to change my style. Before, I used to be very cute, and borderline kitty. I'm still very into like cute and sweet fashion, that's for sure, but I'm trying to go more of a vintage and cottage core vibe. So I'm gonna go through my closet and just sort of clean it up and try to reduce the size as much as possible. So I'm mainly gonna make three piles. I'm gonna sort out the ones that I don't really care for anymore. I'm going to be giving away to a thrift store and the second pile will be stuff I will be selling onto my Depop so clothes I think still have value but just probably aren't my style anymore. And the third pile are going to be clothes I'm going to try and repurpose and make into new clothes that I can wear into my wardrobe again. Okay, so the first place I'm going to start organizing is going to be this rack over here. So these are all of my dresses and skirts and is also what I wear the most. So I don't think I'm really going to have to need to clean this up but let's still take a look. <laughs> These are my white dresses. I'm actually not sure about this one. I've had this since like high school. I don't even know if it fits me anymore. So let's see if it still fits. Yep. That's my dog. Also not sure about this one. Okay, yes, yes. I find this is probably too kitty for me now. This is a pink corduroy dress. It is midi length and I'm probably gonna sell this on Depop. This one too is handmade. I made this overall dress completely by myself but probably need to let it go. Yeah, so I'll be keeping all of these for sure. Okay, now for the skirts. These two also are gonna probably go. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing my closet. one of the first piece of clothing I've ever made. I just, it's not my style anymore. Goodbye. I made this one too. Bye. It's like the only designer piece of clothing I own. Remember when these jackets were a thing? <laughs> it's really pretty though, but I don't wear you. Okay, so next I'm going to go through my drawers. Let's start with this one here. This don't wear anymore. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of pink. <laughs> you too. You too. I got this in Thailand. It's so cute, but I don't know. I don't wear it anymore. These are my long sleeves. I think I'm gonna keep all of them. Yeah. And these are like my sheer tops. Yeah, I'll keep all of these. Over here are like all my basic white and black. I don't need all of these. Why do I have so much? I use you, I use you. These are my heat tech. I have three heat techs. <laughs> I don't need these plain simple tees. So let's get those out. And next onto the pants. I don't wear jeans anymore. What do I do? <laughs> it's like they're a wardrobe staple, so I don't really want to 
give them away, but I just don't wear them. Hmm. I'll keep them. My leggings. Maybe I don't need this one anymore. She collects like these fuzz things very quickly. These also I don't need. See, the ones that collect fuzz like this, I don't need. <laughs> oh, I think, I think I'll be able to repurpose this one. I actually want to turn this into a skirt. These are just some tailored beige pants. So this is also my dad's pants. I don't use them. And I don't really use these pants either. And the final drawer. These are all my t-shirts. You know what, I might just keep them all. <laughs> I like all of them. Mm, I'll just keep it like this. <laughs> okay, so the last area to declutter is going to be my closet. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's very crowded in here. So let's just go through this. This one I got off of Yes Style, but I don't really like how it fits on me. And then I ended up finding this one, which suits me a lot better. And then it was too late to return this one, so... Probably just going to make this into a skirt, because I really like the pattern. Oh, actually, this is a black bomber jacket, and I embroidered Totoro. Oh, this one would actually... You know the beige pants from earlier? I'll probably overlay this over and make a skirt because I really like the pattern. Alright, so this is everything that I don't wear anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to go through everything and divide them into the three categories. So the ones that I'm going to donate, the ones I will be selling, and the ones that I will be repurposing. So this is the things I'm going to donate to a thrift store. These are things I'm going to be selling on my Depop. And this is the maybe pile, so I'm going to try them on and then decide later. And this is the pile that I'm going to be repurposing. And I think I'm going to show you guys three of them today. For the first DIY, I will be using this simple pink shirt and transforming it into this French rouge top. In the second DIY, I will transform this grey peplum top into a fitted crop top. In the last DIY, I will use this see-through color blouse and turn it into a camisole that you can tie in the back. Starting with the pink top, I will also be using this camisole that's in the same color. Or you can cut the bottom of the top for some extra fabric. I cut the straps from the camisole so that they can be used for the front ties. Next, cut some fabric from the camisole. It should have the same length as the top. Cut the extra fabric in a thin rectangle of 2 inches wide. Sew the end of the two ties onto the piece you just cut out. Flip the top inside out and place the rectangle fabric down the middle of the top. Make sure the sewn side is at the top and the ties are facing down. Sew down the middle and on each side of the rectangle to encase the ties inside. The last step is to pull on the ties to ruffle the fabric, and we're done. Now I have a top that has some uniqueness and detail to it, and for sure I'll be wearing it again. Next, I will be transforming this grey top. It's a top I originally recycled, but I don't like how the peplum came out. So to start, I will cut off the lace and the peplum bottom. The top is a bit big on me, so I took in the sides by 2 inches. After sewing it, cut the extra fabric off. To make the peplum into a flat waistband, trace as many rectangles as possible onto the remaining fabric. And mine were 3 inches wide. Cut all of the rectangles out with some fabric scissors. When 
When placing them all together, they should be about the same size as the top. To join them, place the pieces right sides together and sew the sides. Then you should have a tube like this. I made my waistband a little smaller than the top so that it's tighter around the waist. Place the waistband right sides together to the top and sew it. Even with the added waistband, the top was too short on me, so I added some tulle on the bottom. I cut long 2 inch strips of tulle and placed it onto the bottom of the shirt and sewed it on. I had enough tulle for some extra ties on the back, so I made a little bow for some extra detail. And we're done! In the before, I didn't like the peplum, and in the after, now it's a crop top. I find this shape flatters me more, and I love the bow in the back. For the last DIY, I will be using this see-through blouse. I started by removing the pocket, and then cut the hem to use as straps. To make the camisole, I will be using the back of the top, and also, I'm using a camisole I already own as a template. Cut off the yoke and the sleeve so that the fabric can lay flat. Fold the back in half and trace out the camisole. I want my camisole to be cropped, so I traced it to my desired length. And then cut it out and don't forget to add some seam allowance. And here is the front. I am using the remaining front of the blouse to make the back. I want to create a camisole that you can tie in the back, so I'm making this long curved shape. Cut it out and repeat the same for the other side. Place them on both sides of the front and sew it. I also added more length to the ties with the remaining fabric I had the entire edge of the top by folding the edge twice and sewing it down. And here's how it looks like. The final step is to add the straps. From the hem you cut out earlier, sew each strap to the top of the triangle shapes. This might be hard to sew with a sewing machine, so I would recommend to sew them by hand. Crisscross both of the ties and sew them onto the back. And make sure to try it on before sewing to see how the straps fit. And once you're good with the placement, sew them on and we're done. Because it's see-through, I wore a second camisole under, but I love the back of this camisole. If you make yours in a different fabric, feel free to wear just the camisole, but personally, I like layering it over different tops. I really like how it came out, and I'm so happy to have three new pieces in my wardrobe that cost me no money at all. And I'm done with my closet cleanup. I hope you enjoyed the video. And also I will be posting some of the clothes that I don't need anymore onto my Depop. So make sure you check out my store at Ali Jansen if you're interested in purchasing some of my clothes. And also if you're thinking of doing a closet cleanup, make sure to not throw away the clothes you don't need. First maybe ask some of your friends if they're interested in any of your clothes or donate them to your local thrift store. But of course the best way to avoid any waste is to sew them and repurpose them by yourself. So if you need any inspiration, I have a ton of videos where I transform some of my old clothes. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!